I'm just trying to bring a different plate, a different dish to Thanksgiving. You feel me? Watch you record, watch me. So what are you trying to say? Then I, I already know what you're gonna say. That make nice. <laughs> <sighs> oh, this is shooting in 4K. You better stop. Am I actually today, y'all? Verdict says no. No black on the knuckles, but it's my race. I'm gay. Just say no, no. What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tay. Nice to meet you and if you have not yet subscribed, baby girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you really? Doing. Nobody can't hear you. Doing. Yes. Baby love, baby girl. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel and be a part of my lovely, fantastic, astronomically lit family. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I don't even know what the title's gonna say. But I have this notebook here, so if you guys see me looking down, I'm just getting some points from my little notebook that I have here. So recently, I have um, become more a little bit seriously. What? Speak English. I've become a little bit more serious about my Instagram and how I want to brand myself, because you know, I love the entertainment, I love it. Since like May 12th, 2021, I've been taking Instagram a little bit more seriously and you know, being mindful of what I post because I do want to build my brand and I also want to gain my following i put on my vision board i don't know if you guys can see maybe probably not but it's all the way at the top you can't see it so like right there so by the end of december i want to have a thousand followers that's not a stretch maybe i should shoot for more but for right now it's a thousand followers and i'm 134 followers away follow my instagram the link will be down below in my bio and check out my stuff because i i post fire content well i'm starting to post fire on there yeah baby my style is I'm gonna give you guys a few tips on what I've learned so far with becoming, I'm not gonna say like an Instagram influencer, give you guys a few tips on how to take Instagram more seriously, what you guys will need. I'm gonna just give you guys a few tips on how to start being an Instagram, I wouldn't say influencer, but we're just gonna say influencer because I can't find another word. How to be an uh, Instagram influencer. I, I, I can't find another word. First off, it's the same as YouTube in a way. If you, it's a little bit, a little bit, same as YouTube in a way, but just with a different title. So if you want to become an Instagram influencer, first thing first, you have to be patient. Like the followers are not going to come overnight. <laughs> It's easier than YouTube to get out there on Instagram, but it's hard because not everybody will want to see you post every day or like every two to three days. Like they're going to be like, why does girl keep posting? I want her off my feed like right now, right now. And they're going to unfollow you. So you're going to get people that will unfollow you. You're going to get new followers. You definitely have to be patient with your following. Um, I don't know if that was a tip or that was just like something that I've learned and learning in a way. Next, you have to take pictures in bulk because if you're gonna take one picture every day, you're definitely wasting your time. Do not wait for an occasion to take a picture. What's up? <laughs> do not wait for an occasion to take a picture. You do not have to take a picture for an occasion. When I found, when I, shoot, when I found the gem on how influencers do it, I was like, oh, that's what y'all do. Y'all don't really go nowhere. Y'all just buy clothes and take pictures and take it off and go to the next outfit. I'm like, okay, all right. Caught you. And don't say, I started doing that. I started buying clothes that I like, not just trendy pieces. Like, I don't, do I have any trendy pieces? Yes, I have trendy pieces, but I started buying clothes that I like, what's in my style, and if I really, really like it, and it, it can be used again in another outfit or other outfits, I'll keep the item. But if it's not something that I can wear with different outfits, like four or five more outfits, I'm not keeping it. I'm not keeping it, because I'm never going to wear it again, and that's just going to be a waste of money. So definitely... Siren is broken. Ah, ah, it's supposed to be like, ah, you know, stupid idiot people. All right, sorry. Broken siren. What I was saying was, take your pictures in bulk. Take three to four outfits. Go to find different different locations in your areas and take your pictures. Like you know. Taking pictures. Becoming an Instagram influencer, you don't want to be like other influencers. Of course, everybody, some people have the same style. Like some people, streetwear. Who who has streetwear again? I forgot their name, but there's a lot of people that have streetwear. Oh my gosh, I forgot their name, honey, boo boo child. But like on my explore page, I have like a lot of people that do, do streetwear because you know Instagram finds out that I love streetwear and stuff and sneakers. I, like the people are not coming to my mind, but you guys might have seen people that do streetwear a lot on your Instagram. But you wanna bring 
something different to the table. Like at Thanksgiving, two people might bring turkeys, but those two turkeys don't taste the same. So you gotta bring your turkey to the table and add a little bit more seasoning or take away a little bit more seasoning. Like, you feel me? Like, do not do the same thing that Billy is doing. Like, if Billy is wearing Converse's, wear Chuck Taylor. Uh, mm, add a little bit more pizzazz, you know? No. You wear the same exact thing. But a little spice. Like, for example, me, did I say what I was talking about? Create the style that you wanna portray on the Instagram. Like me, I don't wear pants. I don't wear I don't wear earrings. I don't wear like, you know, the excessive jewelry, you know. Yes, it can, like accessories definitely boost a style, but I'm very, very different because I don't wear those things. So I have to put a little bit more effort into my outfit with the shoes that I wear or the bags or the headpieces or like if I decide to wear like rings, like I have to do a little bit more because I am not doing what everybody else is doing. So I need to add a lot more to the table so people can be like, okay, she looks good and she don't have on what everybody else has on. You know what I mean? You know. So you can definitely look good in like a skirt. Like that's my brand. My brand is streetwear, streetwear. What's the other one? Streetwear, classy, church. Like I have, my streetwear is like rice and peas with curry chicken. And you know, if you live in a Jamaican household, you know that they don't cook one meat on Sunday. You feel me? You they cook different, different meat. You see me? So that's my brand. I have my rice, my skirt, them, my chicken. I have chicken as classy wear. I have vegetable as street wear with a little bit of skirts in there. You see me? I have mm, what else we have on 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 Sunday? I have a little bit of barbecue chicken and that I you see me that I'm church clothes there. I'm a pop out and got church because yeah. You see me? So I have different. <coughs> Maybe there's people from different countries watching my video. I have different stuff, basically. Okay, I don't remember what I was saying because my sister interrupted my video. But we're gonna go right on to the next topic. You wanna switch your Instagram from a personal account to a creator's account. A lot of people don't know how to do it and I don't know how to do it as well. If you play around with Instagram, you just go to your account. Let me see, let me let me try to do it. I found it, y'all. Okay, so let me start from the beginning. This is my Instagram, by the way. Go follow me on Instagram. Shawnee with the T, same as my YouTube. You go to your settings. I'm assuming everybody knows how to use Instagram. Go to your settings. And after you go to your settings now, you wanna go to account, where it says account. After you go to your account, you're gonna go all the way to the bottom, and it should be these two blue things at the bottom, and it's gonna say switch account type. And you have a focus. You have a personal and a business. You wanna switch to a creator's account. It should say creator's account or something like that but yeah you want to switch to that account so you can get the insight see when your followers are on Instagram you know see who shares your stuff you know whatever rah, 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 rah. and there's a big difference with a creator's account and a personal account this was when I did not have a creator's account like it does not tell me who shared it doesn't give me any insight nothing but when I changed my account to a creator's account I was able to view all the insights on what's going on how many people visited my profile how how many accounts were reached, how many people weren't following me that seen my posts, how many people came from hashtag, how many followers I gained, you know, all that little thing. Like, I'm learning slowly but surely, and I want you guys to learn with me and create an Instagram and brand yourself. I heard from a reliable source that Instagram is starting to monetize content, so you guys better right now get on Instagram and start branding yourself because, baby, money is starting to come in every shape, way, and form. Anyway, I can get it. I'm there. Next, because my camera's about to die, post things that your audience can relate to. So, I have a lot of people on my Instagram that, you know, wear skirts and heels. I have a lot of females on my account that wear skirt, heels, they're into bags, they're into fat. I have a lot of people that are into fashion on my page. So, that's my target. That's my target. Females ranging from ages 13 to, it doesn't even matter because everybody wears heels. Like, who don't wear heels and skirts? Like, y'all. So, I want to show females that it is okay okay to wear a graphic tee with a pleated skirt it is okay to wear a jean skirt with heels like it's okay like that's what i want to show females you know like it's different ways to wear skirts you feel me like you don't have to wear the, the, the long skirts touching the floor like and if you do you can still make it look you can still make it look good like that that's my target area men you guys can come look you know to see what you want your wife fiance girlfriend to look like in the future but as of now my target area is definitely wide range of female and i i, I basically know your target Target area know who you want to target know who your audience is okay so what you need to start your influencer journey so definitely you will need yourself because if you don't have yourself what are you doing what are you doing what are you really doing who's gonna post the content 
Who's gonna do it? Cause it won't be me. You need a tripod. If you have somebody to take your own pictures, now that's different. But if you don't, then you're gonna need a tripod from Amazon. $12, minimum $12. I bought mine at Target for uh, uh, $15, I think. It's a cheap one, it's a little wobbly, but you know, it gets the job done. I mean, it only needs to hold my phone, so I mean. Next thing you'll need is a Bluetooth clicker. I have it, it's in my car because I go outside and take pictures all the time. So I just keep my clicker, my Bluetooth clicker in my car. You can get it on Amazon and both like they sell them like two, three, four in a pack for like ten dollars. I bought mine back in corporate team uh, when uh corona was rapid and we had to stay in the house. And yeah, I seen it on TikTok, so TikTok made me do it. But now I am using it because it come in handy. Like if my sister's not there to take my pictures, my sister be taking bomb pictures sometimes though. What I'm saying she just took some pictures for me today and they look really good. So yeah, make sure you got a Bluetooth clicker because that's a must if you don't have any like to get pictures basically. My camera's about to die. You need a phone mount because a tripod, not all tripods come with a phone mount. So definitely make sure you invest in a phone mount. Not the ones that stretch like this because they can't, they can only hold your phone um, horizontally and not vertically. So make sure you get the phone mount that can hold your phone vertically. Um, You definitely need patience like I was mentioning in the beginning of the video. Definitely need to have patience with not only only your Instagram but your photos you can't rush photos because if you rush photos you're not gonna get good photos and I'm telling you from experience like there has been numerous times that I've taken pictures of myself and I wasn't patient with the with the entire process so I did not get the pictures that I wanted to like it was in my head like yo 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 that that's gonna be fire then I didn't have any patience because I was rushing it was hot outside my hair was getting uh like how I was getting right now and you know none of the pictures came out good and that was just basically a waste of time so make sure you guys have have patience when you guys are taking the pictures and also when it comes to growing your followers on Instagram get a phone with good to great quality and it don't even have to be an iPhone because some Androids know, know what to do some Androids come serve deliver and leave no crumbs so Androids doing it Androids is just as good as iPhones, but it depends what Android you're talking about you can also use a camera but a camera is just more work and like and nobody got time for that you gotta it's just too much I would do a camera if somebody else is doing it for me or if I have like a lot of time or if I'm in my house I wouldn't say start off with that just use what you have next thing you need are outfits you don't need to buy outfits you don't need to throw away all your clothes now it's up to you if you want to rebrand yourself rebrand your content like re like your entire wardrobe you think you don't think this is you anymore that's different but if you're just buying stuff when you don't even have money for it and it, nah Use what you have. So get get basic things like black, white, nudes, like that can go with everything. Like get an item, get items that you can wear with different things. Don't get an item that you can only wear with one thing because that's a waste of money. We don't have time to be wasting money over here. You have to have outfits. It don't have to be popping outfits. It don't have to be trending outfits. It's just, just you. What do you like to wear? Like just bring yourself, bring stuff that looks like you because if it doesn't look like you, like what are you doing? <laughs> it don't look like you. Stop. Going back to how to become an Instagram influencer, you want to also have a lot of out, like a group of outfits. How can I say this? You want to have like a group of outfits and try them on. Like, say today is my day to take pictures for Instagram. I need to have four different looks. Try them on. Make sure you try your outfits on as well. My information is all over the place, but listen, I'm talking like I will talk to my friends. Okay, friend, make sure you have all your outfits lined out, put together, all of that. From from the accessories to the shoes to the bag to the everything. Make sure you try it on make sure you like it do not just put it on the day of and be like yeah it's gonna work in my head it works so in real life in reality it's gonna work because we do have those days when we think okay something in my head looks good so I'm suspecting that on 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 foot on bod it's gonna look the same and baby sadly mistaken you better try it on before the day of tell you that much I usually when I'm putting outfits together I usually take pictures of you know what goes together take like like if I have one skirt I'll pair it with three different stuff and see what looks good and then I'll try it on and see what I like but yeah I definitely um and then if I don't use that outfit then I'm gonna use it later because like I have an outfit on Instagram I'll post it on this if I remember to post it right here I'll post it right here it was like a white shirt and it had like be inspired I got it from H&M and I had like a tool skirt on and I wore it with some turf orange one I planned that outfit since like June and I and I was just wearing it in July. So you don't have to 
wear it as soon as you plan it but if you have a, a picture day for instagram like a shoot day for instagram and you want to wear that outfit you can and i talk a lot right next we're moving on to what you need to edit your pictures now what i use to edit my pictures is very simple don't gotta spend no money i use my iPhone, I just, listen, when I take the pictures, and my pictures be coming on mad fire. I, girl, I just took some pictures today. Y'all ain't ready. <laughs> but yeah, I edit with my phone, like my, like, how can I explain? But I basically edit with these, this. All of this, I edit with it. I don't use no dumb, dumb, dumb apps. No, ma'am, don't got time for that. This, this, get, this, get, this get the job done. And my pictures look fine, look. Who you know? Looking that good. I'm just trying to bring a different plate, a different dish to Thanksgiving. You feel me? I'm not trying to bring what everybody else bring. <laughs> yeah, ma'am, because I'm different. I'm real, real different. So with being different, I have to use different stuff to edit with. Like, but let me tell you guys what I've used thus far to edit pictures. I definitely use, as you guys seen before, I definitely use the photos. That's basically all I use now is the photos, photos editor thingy that you've seen when you take your pictures and you press edit. And then, yeah, I use that. Facetune, but you gotta pay for that. Like Facetune too. Like if you want the smoother, if you want like the retouch and all that, you gotta pay for that. And that kind of make me look fake in a way. So I don't really use that. And I want to look as I want to look authentic as possible. I use retouch sometimes, but sometimes, Talitha told me about that, if you guys know Talitha. She a baddie. She told me about like this app like that, like she don't like shadows in her video, in her pictures, you know, erases it in a way. They have Lightroom, so Lightroom is basically presets. It just, you just press on the thing and then it just edit it for you, you know? And you have to pay for some of them. So if you want to do that, then you can. But for right now, until I get up there, up there, I am not spending. That sounds a little bit selfish because you have to put into your brand, which I do. Don't, don't get me wrong. I do put into my brand, but I, not yet. Not yet. If something is working for me already, I'm definitely not going to go out of my way to purchase something else if something is already working for me, if that makes sense. Last thing is Pixar. I used it like once or twice, but it wasn't really working for me. I only use Pixar for like um, when I have to do my intros and stuff, you know. I double dabble with Pixar, but I never really use it to edit a picture. But it's the same thing, you know, if you want the premium subscription, you got to pay. Oh, Lens Buddy. You don't really need Lens Buddy. That's why some people prefer Lens Buddy over having a Bluetooth clicker thing that I was talking about earlier in the video. But but lens buddy <sighs> You're not in control of Lens Buddy. If you have the Bluetooth clicker, you're definitely in control of how many pictures you take per second. Lens Buddy only takes a certain amount of pictures per second. And like sometimes I have a pose, I gotta just stand there and just wait. I like to be in control of my of my photos. So I definitely prefer clicker over the app Lens Buddy. But if you don't have a clicker right now and you want to start taking your pictures, download Lens Buddy, baby. Yes, ma'am. And the last thing as I close my little book, you hear this all the time. You hear this all the time, but you have to be consistent yes ma'am for me i'm trying as hard as possible because sometimes i just don't have the motivation or the outfit sometimes i got the outfit but the outfit don't look good but i'm just like i can't post this on national app I can't even say television because not even television i'm looking hot man i think i have no parent but yeah definitely be consistent try okay for to post i would say post two to three times a week me i'm starting with two times a week until i can you know because i don't want to bombard my followers miss girl you posting a little bit too much like cut down like all i see is you on my feed, you know? And I don't want them to unfollow. And don't say, try to post twice a week to start. Um, If you feel as though twice a week is too much, which is not because you need to grow your feed and grow your, you know, following, post once a week, but post in the middle of the week or post when your followers are mostly on Instagram. That's what I would do when I started, started. Like, I would post, although I don't have a lot, but I would post in the middle of the week or post, you know, when my followers are most likely on Instagram. It's so hard to master this algorithm thing Thing, but you know with YouTube I'm trying and with this I'm trying TikTok definitely not catch me sorry TikTok won't catch me yes it's an easy way to blow up I'm not gonna lie but you won't catch me last but not least before my camera dies you gotta make reels I'm still trying to figure out how to make like a reel I be thinking my reels not good enough but make a reel try to make a reel try to make a real 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 Ooh, I try to make a reel if you can't make the reel. Listen, if you can't make the reel, you just gotta watch other people's reel and mimic their reels, but make it your own in a way. I don't understand why Instagram shot me like TikTok so bad. 
but it's a new way to grow on Instagram. So if it's a new way to grow, you wanna grab that and run with it, okay? Everything that Instagram is giving to you, you gotta use their stories, you gotta use live, if you're not going live, if you're not posting reels, if you're not using their highlights, if you're not using... <laughs> That is not what I came on Instagram for. Sorry. If you guys want a part two to this, just let me know in the comment section down below. Because I want to help you guys. I don't want to be like others and be selfish and keep everything to myself. Like, I'm learning. And I just want to put what I learned out there so far. I have one more tip. And it's about hashtags. So if you guys want to see, if you guys want to know how to use hashtags correctly, put a camera down in the comment section down below. If you guys want a part two, and if you got to this point in this video, put a camera down below. So I will know. If you made it this far, that means you made it to the end of this video. But like I said before, if you guys want a part two, just put it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you will be notified anytime I post in the video. And without further ado, zoom. This Instagram influencer is out. Bye.